Welcome back to the channel everyone. My name is Ethan and in this episode I'm going to be starting a build series on this awesome posted bike that I picked up for an absolute steal. So to begin with I'm just going to show you all the things that need to fixing on the bike. I'm going to need to reupholster the seat. I should just be able to put a new seat cover on. I might have to get some new phone, possibly. I'll just take the staples out from underneath and re-staple it because I've already got a staple gun. Um, it's just a Honda Posty bike. I don't really know much about it. Um, I know that the speedo is not wired up as well as I'm uh, missing one of the headlight covers like got broken off. I'm also missing the side mirrors, they go on there, on both sides are missing them. Um, I need a new front fender, that's split, it's just sun faded and destroyed. Uh, I need to repaint a lot of the plastics in the frame. I might need some new rear shocks, uh, I need new front fork seals. That was covered in like grease before I wiped it off with I mean, oil, not grease. Um, under the back here, the air filter intake is up under there. Hopefully you can see it in there. But it's up in under there and it's full of junk so I need to give the bike a good wash. But other than that, it's a kickstart on it. I think it has an electric start but it doesn't currently have a battery in it. And if it does, the battery is completely dead because it was left on for God knows how long, like five years or something. And I'm not sure yet if I need to do any work on the motor. Hopefully I should be able to get away with just putting some new oil and fuel in it and a new spark plug. Hopefully that'll do and get, me, get it started for me. I'm going to repaint the whole frame and everything as I said. I'm going to hopefully by the end of this year I want to be able to get this bike registered. So for my 16th birthday next year Hopefully I can get a motorbike license so I can ride this around. Oh, also that's the other thing it needs, um, the rear tyre to be pulled off, down here. And it needs the rim tape pulled out, so I can get a new tube in there and replace the rim tape because right now it's just dangling around, I don't know if you can see it, but yeah, here it is here. Just here, just sort of just loose, it's falling out of the wheel, so. I'm assuming that that needs to be replaced. Um, there's not much else that I really know of. The foot pegs, I'm not sure if they're supposed to have any kind of cover on them. They're, right now they're just like a steel bar. I've never worked on one of these bikes before, so I don't really know what to expect and what's missing. So, yeah, I also know it's just got like a helmet holder or some kind of thing there. I don't really understand how that works. I suppose it just locks through the helmet strap or something. Which I suppose is pretty cool. So hopefully, for now, I'm going to focus on trying to get it running in the next couple of weeks. I'm just hoping that there's nothing too major wrong with the engine because I don't want to have to rebuild it. I will if I have to, but I prefer it obviously if I didn't have to put all that money into it. But other than that, it's a pretty solid bike, so that's all for this video, I suppose. In the next video, I'm going to start cleaning it up and pulling, draining out all the oil and trying to get it fired up. 